Hey, hey, kings, what's poppin'? It's me, Jeems of Regret. Taking a quick break from my current project to talk about these recent leaks about an Oblivion remake. Now, you know me, I'm Todd Howard's strongest soldier, so you just know I have to throw my hat in the lot and make a quick video on this. First things first, though, if you're too lazy to watch until the end of the video, I'll just say it right now, I don't think it's real. Frankly, a lot of the details just don't add up. Especially with what I know about Bethesda's game engines and what I understand about game development. Well, as an outsider looking in, none of this makes sense. That's the too long didn't watch summary of the entire thing. Thanks for clicking, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again when I see you. Now for those of you who stuck around and are curious on why I think none of the details make sense, then I'm glad you asked. So a few days ago, as at the time of writing and recording this video, a Reddit user posted on the r slash gaming leaks subreddit claiming to be a former employee from Virtuous Games. Among many of the wild claims this user made that I'm not going to get into because I frankly don't care about, this user claims that Virtuous is currently working on a remake for the beloved classic game, and the game that got me to turn into a Todd Howard fan in the first place, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Now this user claims that the remake or remaster will be running on a sort of paired system where the graphics itself will run on Unreal 5 while the physics and the processor and the NPC management and whatnot are, and I quote, still done in Oblivion. The user further claims that the remaster will come out late 2024 or early 2025 and, and which one of those time frames it'll come out will apparently depend if the project turns from a simple remaster into a full-on remake. I'll leave the whole reddit post up for a bit because it's been deleted. Feel free to pause if you want to read it for yourself. But suffice to say, this shit isn't convincing. But why isn't it convincing? Well, first off, the leak comes from the wretched hive of pseudo-intellectual dishonesty that is Reddit. That should have been the biggest red flag immediately. The next red flag has to do with the project's engine, or rather should I say engines. Unreal 5 paired with the Oblivion iteration of Gamebryo? <laughs> Jeez, you'd, you'd have an easier time convincing me the project was running on the Clausewitz engine. No matter which way you spin it, this just makes no sense. If the goal was to bring Oblivion up to modern standards graphics and all, the devs would not stick, as the user claims, with the old Oblivion engine. It would either be a total swap to Unreal or, more realistically in my opinion, it would be running on Creation 2, which is what the Oblivion iteration of Gamebryo evolved into with nearly two decades worth of upgrades and further development. Simply pairing Unreal 5 with the Gamebryo engine is extremely unlikely, especially considering Gamebryo is ancient, decrepit, and borderline useless by today's standards. I mean, it's a 32-bit engine, for Christ's sake. That thing had its problems when it released in 2006. Bethesda had to upgrade it a bunch of times to get it running on modern hardware. Running two graphical engines simultaneously might work on Halo Anniversary with its enclosed and limited levels, but running the entire thing for an expansive game like Oblivion, with all the interactions, the NPCs, and all that, especially paired with the game brio, yeah, 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 nah, nah. You're better off recreating the entire thing from scratch, like the Sky Oblivion team are doing. The third reason that I bring up on why I don't believe this leak is the timeline being presented on the post. A late 24 or early 25 release, but the devs still aren't sure if it's going to be a remaster or a remake? No, no, that's dumb. Now, I'm no game dev, but even I can tell you that's not how massive, expensive projects like this work. Remakes and remasters are completely different things. A remaster is taking an old game and giving it a new coat of paint. A remake is making an entirely new game that is vaguely in the same shape as the old. The difference is night and day. A team that's only touching up a game's graphics and engine isn't going to be able to pivot to rebuilding the entire game easily. It's like if you hired a guy to mow your lawn but then halfway through the process you ask him to build you a fish pond. I mean, sure, I, the guy could probably do it eventually but not without a lot of delays and extensions. He's gonna have to gather up all the right tools and get all the right people to help him. There is simply no way in hell 
that turning the project from a remaster into a remake would only cause a few months delay. It's completely unrealistic and it's a major clue for me that this user is frankly talking out of his ass. The last major red flag on why I think this remaster or remake leak is fake isn't from what the leaker said on the post, but instead, but instead comes from the words of the man, the myth, the legend himself, Todd Howard. Anything that has to do with Elder Scrolls has to go through him first. Even Elder Scrolls Online, which isn't even worked on by his studio, it's done by a separate sister studio, Zenimax Online, they need certain permissions from him when it comes to the lore and the stories they're allowed to tell and they're allowed to make. I don't believe it's possible for this remake or remaster project to get greenlit unless it's with Todd's approval, and frankly, I don't think Todd would approve the project in the first place. Todd has said in an interview with The Guardian a while back saying that he's not a fan of the concept of remasters and remakes. He sees backwards compatibility as a much better way to play older games. He stated, and I quote the article, I'm really happy that Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, and others are making it easier for people to play older games as they were played at the time. I actually prefer that over remasters. Now this quote was specifically about Morrowind but I believe it applies to Oblivion as well since he also touched on the original Interplay Fallout games, the ones he didn't make, and how he would much rather people played the games as they were as opposed to someone else's reinterpretation and reimagination, and that frankly the game's age is a part of its identity. With all that in mind, I, s I, I just don't think it's possible for any Oblivion remake to be made, especially if Todd himself wasn't the one running the show. So overall, this recent Oblivion leak just, it just doesn't seem very believable at all. Well, maybe some of the other supposed leaks on the post are true, maybe they're not, but what I can confidently say is that the Oblivion leaks are a whole load of nonsense. It strikes me that this post is just random bullshit concocted by a redditor hungry for attention and upvotes. Certainly wouldn't be the first time it happened, certainly won't be the last either, unfortunately. Anyways, that's all I have to say on this matter. Bit of a short video, I know, but I felt compelled to make it. I'm taking a bit of a break from my current review on the Bureau XCOM Declassified. The game is... it certainly got its quirks and, well, hopefully it'll be done soon. As always, remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, and all that good stuff if you feel like it. This has been Cheems of Regret, reminding you that Reddit is a nest of snakes, and you should take anything posted there with a healthy dose of skepticism. Good luck and Godspeed. Signing out.